Today seemed like a good day to play with my solar scorcher. How about a stack of pennies? Yep, they're nothing but liquid metal now. So as we see in this video, Grant Thompson uses a four foot magnifying glass to melt pennies with 2000 degrees of heat. Why hasn't this guy tried to take over the world with his crazy solar gizmo? Why indeed? Why? You've seen this technique employed many times before, like the rugged survivor type who starts a campfire with just a chunk of ice. Or the villainous child down the block burning ants with his father's magnifying glass. Or the glass sphere juggler whose car caught on fire when he left his props in the back seat on a sunny day. Okay, that last one didn't actually happen, but just look at this guy. It's all solar concentration, using a glass lens or even one made out of ice to take a large area of sunlight and direct it towards a specific spot by bending and focusing the rays of light. Solar cells employ the same principle, harvesting the sun's energy. And while solar power is a vital part of our planet's energy future, it's not quite as awesome as shooting hot beams of death at your enemies. So what about solar weapons? Why isn't Grant Thompson blackmailing the United Nations with his devious super weapon? Back in the second century BCE, Greek inventor Archimedes devised a death ray, a series of mirrors that reflected concentrated sunlight onto Roman ships. Legend has it that Archimedes actually used the weapon to defend the walled city of Syracuse. But of of course, numerous historians failed to mention it, and modern attempts to recreate the death ray have been mixed. As humans gradually entered the space age, their minds turned to the use of cosmic solar concentrators. Sadly, both Russian Znamya space mirrors burned up in the atmosphere back in the 90s. While operational, Znamya 2 proved capable of reflecting a three-mile-wide patch of light onto the dark side of the Earth. And according to a 1945 article in Life magazine, the Third Reich briefly entertained the notion of using a space mirror weapon to set enemy nations on fire. But this never came to fruition either. Just as the Namya couldn't light cities, this theoretical super weapon couldn't incinerate them. But that's not to say space mirrors are useless. Engineers continue to devise ways they can help terraform other worlds, deflect asteroids, and propel starships through the void on the solar wind. And as far as weapons of light are concerned, there's always laser technology in which light is amplified by the stimulated emission of radiation. In fact, in April 2013, the U.S. Navy deployed a ship-based laser weapon capable of shooting down drones and disabling vessels. So there you have it, from melting pennies to laser weaponry. And what about you guys? When you were a kid, did you ever haul out a magnifying glass and do something embarrassing like burn an ant's head or burn off a G.I. Joe figure's face? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.